صلى الله عليه وسلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وآله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهداه As I said before we have to remember Allah 24-7 and every Muslim knows that part of remembering Allah Azza wa Jal is to say your adhkar before you leave the house because you need protection so what are the adhkar to be said before leaving the house there are many of them the most famous one Bismillah tawakkaltu ala Allah wala hawla wala quwwata illa billah in the name of Allah again Bismillah I depend and rely on Allah Azza wa Jal and there is no might nor power except with Allah what do you think a person who says such dhikr before leaving with full conviction that Allah is his protector what is he going to do how is he going to perform is he going to sin do I say this dua before going to the bar or to the nightclub or to the pub A'udhu Billah this is a dhikr that is said by a person who is in total compliance with Islam what else the following dua Allahumma inni a'udhu bika an adilla aw udall aw azilla aw uzal aw adhlima aw uzlam aw ajhala aw yujhala alay Allahumma inni a'udhu bika an adilla aw udall if you contemplate on this dua you seek refuge in Allah from going astray from slipping from having any injustice upon others from being ignorant to others and from others reciprocating setting you astray from uh, uh, oppressing you or making you slip or making others slip or having people oppressing you or having people being ignorant to you when you say this with conviction in you driving and someone does something inappropriate to you you would never gesture them you would never shout or curse them you would never retaliate and try to cross uh, in front of them maybe causing an accident you always remember ah I said this dua and this dhikr and Allah is guiding me and protecting me this is what we say when we leave our homes trusting only Allah depending only on Allah having total reliance only on Allah Azza wa Jal when we come back what do we say this is a dua that is one of the duas or dhikr in the fortress of Muslim which is not authentic why would the Shaykh may Allah have mercy on his soul include it in his book if it's not authentic simply because Shaykh al-Albani authenticated it in the very beginning then came to find out that it was not authentic so he graded it as weak while Sheikh bin Baz who is the Sheikh of Sheikh Saeed may Allah have mercy on his soul used to grade it as Hassan which is accepted so either way if you follow the authentication of Sheikh al-Albani then you should not say this dua Bismillahi wa lajna wa bismillahi kharajna wa ala Allahi rabbina tawakkalna ثم ليسلم على أهله. The scholars say uh, uh, is not authentic, and if you accept Sheikh Bin Baz authentication, there is no problem in accepting it and in saying it as well. So I came into my house. I left my house saying the duas. What about if I go to the masjid? There are a number of beautiful du'as that the Prophet used to say alayhi salatu wasalam upon um, going to the masjid among them is this long du'a Allahumma ja'al fi qalbi noora wa fi lisani noora wa fi sam'i noora wa fi basari noora wa min fawqi noora wa min tahti noora wa an yameeni noora wa an shimali noora wa min amami noora ومن خلفي نورا واجعل في نفسي نورا 
وأعظم لي نورا وعظم لي نورا واجعل لي نورا واجعلني نورا اللهم أعطني نورا واجعل في عصبي نورا وفي لحمي نورا وفي دمي نورا وفي شعري نورا وفي بشري نورا اللهم اجعل لي نورا في قبري ونورا في عظامي وزدني نورا وزدني نورا وزدني نورا وهب لي نورا على نور It revolves upon light asking Allah to put in my heart light in my tongue in my hearing in my sight above me underneath me to my right and left and in front of me and behind me to have this light in everything in my life in my body in my hair everywhere even in my grave in my bones and asking Allah to increase in this light over and over and over again what light are we talking about this is not something that we're asking Allah to illuminate us in darkness rather it's the light of guidance it's the light of worship the light in my eyes so that I would not see except what pleases Allah the light in my hearing is that I would not hear except what pleases Allah so in a sense I'm asking Allah Azza wa Jal to protect me and to give me guidance and to guide me to worshiping him as pleases him subhanahu azza wa jal this is on my way going to the masjid if i were to enter the masjid i would say this dua a'udhu billahi al-azim wa bi wajhihi al-kareem wa sultanihi al-qadim min ash-shaytan ar-rajim bismillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah allahumma iftah li abwaaba rahmatik seeking refuge in Allah Azza wa Jal from this, the, 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 the evil of Satan. But I seek refuge in Allah Azza wa Jal and it, in His honorable face and in His authority from Satan. All of these things I'm seeking refuge in from Satan. Then what do I do? I say Bismillah before entering the masjid with my right foot. And I offer salutation upon the Prophet ﷺ and I invoke Allah. O oh Allah, open the gates of your mercy for me. What gates of mercy? I'm entering the masjid. So I am asking Allah Azza wa Jal to facilitate the mercies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through my entering the masjid. And once I'm in the masjid, the clock is ticking and I'm getting all the good deeds coming to me with the grace of Allah because I've requested Allah to open the gates of mercy. What about if I'm leaving the masjid? Well, there's another dua. Bismillah. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Allahumma inni as'aluka min fadlik. Allahumma asimni min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. I should say Bismillah. And I offer salutation upon the Prophet ﷺ. And then I say, O oh Allah, I ask you from your favors. I'm asking you from your favor. O oh Allah, guard me from the accursed devil. In the entrance, I said, open the gates of mercy. Coming out, I'm asking Allah for his favor and to guard me from Satan. Why? Because now I'm leaving behind me the masjid a garden of heaven and I'm entering to this dunya with all its temptations and sins and things that may distance me from Allah Azza wa Jal and from the hereafter. So I'm seeking refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is all the time we have. Until we meet next time, I leave you fi amalillah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. صلى الله على محمد صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم